everybody, today I am doing a video that has been crazy requested all up on my Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you are missing out. Shameless self plug to follow me at Megan Rinks. I will be the first one to say, I put a lot of time and effort into my Instagram photos and it's not even something that's like, oh my god, no, it's like, they just like have it. No, I spent a lot of time editing my Instagrams. If you haven't seen my Instagram, then I'm gonna have a picture of what like, the uh, aesthetic of it, what it currently looks like to this day right now. I love really bright, very white pictures and for the last like months on months on months, my Instagram theme has been very primarily white photos and half of you seem to love it, half of you seem to hate it, but more than that, everyone just wants to know how I do it. So I thought I'd show you guys how I edit my Instagrams. Shall we dive into the phone? Let's dive in to the iPhone 6. I want the 6 Plus so bad. I might change it. I might, I might, I might. Okay guys, welcome to my iPhone. If you want to see all of the apps in another video, I've got those linked down below. Now first and foremost, I take a lot of my Instagrams with this app. It's the Camera Plus app. I just find it really helps like automatically when you take a photo with the exposure and things like that. So it's literally just like taking a regular photo, but you can adjust the light exposure while you're you're taking it so it just kind of makes it more like you're using a nicer camera and I feel like the quality is a little better in a camera plus then I go into the photography folder and this is where all of my photo apps are now I basically use I use these three primarily I only really use VSCO cam for photos on my Twitter it's just like a really easy way to edit them if you're it's not really like my theme of my Instagram but like you can see it does like the very like you can do like really cool faded ones and it's just a different kind of aesthetic than my Instagram is but I'll do it for some ones but you know others not so much but if you love that kind of like faded look in here this is like that's like really great to get photos that are like look like that so for Instagram I use Avery and Facetune mostly and so I start by going into Avery now in here you can just grab like any random sort of photo uh, these are just a long string of selfies as an example I'll take a picture this one right here so this is a photo that's already on my Instagram right now and what I can do in Avery is all this junk but the only things I really pay attention to are the lighting and the color so the first time I take the photo the first thing I do is bring it into Avery and I go in and adjust the brightness so for this I'd adjust the brightness a little bit higher adjust the contrast add some highlights usually and then shadows I bring down it's all pretty much self-explanatory like what it does and then I apply it and save it so I really just edit the lighting in those ones first and then I go into Facetune and you're probably like oh my god what do you do in Facetune and in Facetune I will go in and whiten things that are already white in Avery I already lightened up the photo a ton and you can't really change like backgrounds that aren't already white or very light based to be white in this but I mean I usually primarily take my photos on like very light backgrounds and so then I go in into the white part and I just whiten it even more so you're supposed to just do it for like your teeth and like the whites of your eyes or something but I literally go through and whiten everything that's already white like my sweater and the background and all of that stuff I'm not doing a wonderful job at that right now you can apply that and then I'll go into details and details is like just basically like specific sharpening and usually I'll do that for like my eyelashes sometimes around my mouth just parts of my face that makes it look more high quality once it's sharpened my hair my necklaces and then I usually go into the smooth tool and smooth out the background so it looks less grainy and it makes it look less like it was taken on an iPhone so then when that's done I save it to my camera roll again and then I go back into Avery and you're probably like this takes a lot of time and I'm like yeah I go back into Avery and this is when I do like the final adjustment so I'll maybe make it a little bit brighter a little more highlighted a little more contrast or like not and then this is when I go and add the color so this is when I go back in and do some saturation and make it look like a normal human being again and a lot of the time photos can skew really like yellowy so I definitely make sure that the white is a true white and not like a warm white so I can make it a little bit cooler but yeah and then I'll finally go in add some sharpness and then the photos done I'm honestly a really big fan of like how Instagram's new editing is working so like I will even go in here and like do some like fine tunes with like the brightness and like everything on here as you guys can see it's just a very like bright and white so all of these photos weren't originally as white as they are I just whiten the backgrounds honestly like the number one thing I say though is like I take everything knowing my theme in mind so, like I couldn't take a photo that's not white at all and make it white white happens to be my favorite color so I happen to wear a lot of it so it makes it like relatively easy I don't have to really think about my Instagram theme a ton just because it is my favorite color I just really love how how it looks all together and I think it's pretty so you should go follow me yay but yeah that's how I edit my Instagram pictures I hope this was 
helpful for you guys. It is a time consuming process. And I really like it. I know a lot of people probably see this and be like, oh my god, I can't believe you spend that much time editing your Instagram photos. I really like it. I have really bad anxiety, so it's actually something very nice for me to be able to look at something that like gives me peace. It makes me feel really calm, which my Instagram does for me. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and uh, let me know what your Instagram name is in the comments down below because I love following you guys on Instagram. And if you have like pretty Instagrams, like I'm all about it. Like I will like like all of your photos. I'm a really good Instagram follower. I am. Don't forget to follow me on the rest of my social media sites. I'm on a Twitter, I'm on Tumblr, I'm on Facebook, I'm on, I have a second YouTube channel if you didn't know. Uh, and more importantly, I'm also on Snapchat. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video and I will see you next time.